Hey guys, can't believe it has already been a month since I filmed my petite voice for Playbox, but I have some updates from last month and the new boxes to share with you guys this month. So let's just jump in with Petite Vore. I was actually able to use up and finish two products. One is from Tay. This is the Essentials Oil Essential Oils Bar Soap Juniper Lake. It was a really pretty like blue green bar of soap. I did find this to be not as moisturizing as I would like my soaps to be. I'm definitely more of a body gel or yeah the body gel soap for everyday use. I'm not a big fan of the bar of soap. I have a hard time like I put it on the little soap dispenser in my shower and it just kind of like disintegrates and is like that wet soap just sitting there and it has soap scum everywhere and I'm just not a big fan of it. The scent of this was really nice but just the use of a bar of soap. I know it's a lot more greener and nicer to have a bar of soap but I definitely prefer the gel shower gels better. And then I have from Zabana Essentials this was the coconut sugar and salt body scrub. Now this was a very nice body scrub but it was very difficult to use. It was kind of like just having sugar and salt and stuff all together pulling out which it is very natural and it has natural ingredients but when I found like I have like a little step ledge in my shower I found that when I was using this product and try to apply it on my legs all of the product would kind of fall on the floor before I could really rub it in and get it into my legs, things like that. So it was kind of annoying to use in that aspect. The scent was coconut. It has a bunch of coconut kind of ingredients, but all I could smell in this was the cocoa powder. So really it just smelled like chocolate to me, which was a amazing scent. I really liked it, but just the usability of the sugar scrub or sugar salt scrub was not my kind of body scrub that I'm drawn towards. I'm definitely more drawn towards the ones that have that moisturizing gel in it with it so I can, you know, use it more easily. So I liked it, but I will not be purchasing a full size. And the three items I just was unaware of or I don't know what happened. It's similar with Sephora Apply this month. I just was not in the mindset of trying these samples versus my other samples. I didn't use the OC Steam Minerals Mist, so I can't say anything about that. Didn't use the RL Linden & Co. La Bomba Rosa um, Healing Rose Balm. And I didn't touch the loose setting powder. I'm definitely more of a pressed setting powder girl, so I didn't reach for this. And how small the lid is, it's just not easy to apply with my big kind of powder brush. Like look at this powder brush and then in here that's that's not going to work. So yeah, wasn't too big of a fan of the Petite Vore box last month. So hopefully in August it will be better. So let's actually jump into unboxing the Petite Vore for August. And I get these like end of August. So in here you get a little card that says everything that is in it and it says many thanks to artists I think created. That's a really pretty card. So in here it always says the creme de la cruelty free because everything in this box is vegan cruelty free and natural ingredients. So first thing we have here is from Kai Naturals the ta Takesumi Detox Bamboo Charcoal Deodorant in the scent Juicy Bamboo. So this is a little uh, deodorant sample and it looks kind of gray white charcoal -y. Let's see if I can have it go up. It's having a hard time rolling up. There we go. So that is what the deodorant looks like. It definitely has some charcoal in it you can totally tell. The scent is, it's okay, not, not super pleasant. Let's see what it says about this product. It says the Takesumi Detox uses activated charcoal and fermented technology to rid the body of toxins. Expect to sweat more during the first two weeks as the body cleanses itself from the outside in. Very interesting. This product is their travel size product and it's $7.50 for 0.43 ounces. So this is a travel size that they do sell. So that is pretty cool. Then this next product right here is from Noto. This is the Multi Benitent Eyes, Cheeks, and Lips. 
so this says this is their full size it is $16.07 ounces that's kind of expensive like really expensive actually but it looks like it's a nice berry color it smells pretty good I do like the scent of this it says color that is not only beautiful but also food for the skin dab on lips cheeks etc for a natural flush definitely a cool like lip cheek stain product that is definitely hip and trendy right now so I will use this but this being the full size 0 0.07 ounces and $16 it's kind of expensive let's see what the ingredients are it's organic olive fruit oil candela candelia wax organic coconut oil organic shea butter organic palm fruit oil organic cojobo seed oil vitamin E sunflower seed oil, peppermint, and iron oxide. So they're definitely really good ingredients. I will let you guys know about this product next month. Then I have this product here. This is, I do not know. It's the S, S Soap and Walla, the Balm. And it has its, their own little card. Now, this is their sample jar. It says it estimates for about $5 and it's 0.17 ounces. Sopwella's Concentrated Repair Balm is all you need to rejuvenate and revitalize skin as it melts instantly to hydrate condition and minimize discoloration. So let's see. It smells alright. Definitely. I don't know. I can't really pick up the scent. Let's see what this card says. It says it has Moringa and Prickly Pear Seed Oil. That's what I smell. I smell the Prickly Pear Seed Oil. Did y'all get the um, hair mask from Christoph, Christoph Robin from the Sephora Play Box? It smells similar to that. So if you're not a big fan of that, you're not going to like this balm. It says it repairs tissue damage, redness, and dryness. Arnica? Nika? Reduces swelling, inflammation, bruising, horse chestnut, minimizes various veins, and leads to improved circulation. St. John's wort, blue tansy, and frankincense increase skin elasticity. It says you can use it on the face or body. So, very interesting product. I'll give it a go. Hopefully, I'll let you guys know next month. This next product is a really good, decent size. This is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Hand Cream. This is a really great size hand cream sample. Says that this is their full size, $12, 2 ounces. Reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots with soothing aloe, peptides, jojoba, shea butter, etc reveals more youthful looking hands. Let's give this one a go. So again, the scent is green apple. And I recently had Juice Beauty contact me and give me some other products to try. So I definitely plan on doing a video soon talking to you guys more about Juice Beauty products. Oh my gosh, this little silver thing just is so hard to open sometimes. If they don't ever put like the little flap that helps you pull it. I have a hard time doing these. There was there was a product that I was using and it was a shower product and I couldn't get it. Shampoo. I think it was from um, Juice Organics and that was hard. So now I peeled it off but look there's like clear plastic right there so I'm gonna get my tweezers out but this is a little too much work. Juice Beauty you guys need to work on your packaging and so do you juice organics which I think you guys are the same brand not sure but yeah there's this like I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like a clear plastic that's over the hole like this is kind of too much work to get into a hand cream gotta work the hands for the hand cream I guess yeah I would work on that if this is like a real full-size product that you guys sell if you're watching um so yeah let's give this a go so I'm just getting a little bit on my fingers. It's a nice consistency. I definitely like the consistency of this hand cream. Has a nice like the I was expecting like a wham bam in your face. I'm gonna get a little bit more for the other hand um, scent, but it's a nice like subtle apple scent, which I really like. So I'm definitely a fan of this hand cream for sure. Um, I'm going to play with it more this upcoming month and let you guys know. But yeah, this is this is a nice hand cream. I do like it and it's perfect for going into fall with the apple and, you know, 
ends up getting dry like that in the fall winter time. So happy to have this, really excited, and so happy that it was in the Petite Vore box. So that is it from the Petite Vore box. I'm definitely excited for the products in this August box. Really happy about the hand cream. Very interested in the deodorants. It's always good to try and find more natural deodorants. And I'm pretty excited about this um, bedding tin. So yeah, those are awesome. The repair bomb I'll have to play around with. So let's get into the items that were in this four play box for July. What I used, my thoughts and stuff on those. I used up, this is just air, like for real, this is just air. I just had it in like an empties. So this is the CJ Walker Wonderful Deep Conditioning Mask. And I was able to get two, three uses of this hair mask. I really did enjoy this. It does say it's certified organic ingredients. I am on the fence if they are cruelty free or not. I couldn't find anywhere if they were or weren't. This was a good moisturizing hair mask. I don't think I am going to purchase. However, I recently have been using the Verb Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner and that does a fantastic job so I am not in the need for a product like this right now. Then the next thing is actually what's on my lips. This is the Tarte Beauty Color Splash Lipstick in Set Sale. And again, it's what's on my lips. I really, really like this lipstick. I've been enjoying using it. The color is beautiful. It's perfect for every day for me. So really happy about that lipstick. Then there were three items that I did. Oh, I also used the Mon Guerlain little fragrance sample. It was in the sample Sunday video. I actually pitched it after filming that video. It was nice. It was all right. I'm not going to purchase it. Wasn't cruelty free, so I'm not going to purchase it. Moving on to the rest of the stuff, like I said. Had the Fresh Rose Face Mask. They gave this little deluxe sample. Not a big fan of this face mask, so I didn't reach for it this month. Um, the scent of it is just not my favorite. I'm not a big rose scented girl, so yeah, didn't try that out. This is the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. I just was using a lot of other cleansers. I just forgot about this. Fell to the wayside of my bathroom counter, so yeah. Gotta use this. And then the next thing was the IT Cosmetic Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I was working on my Marc Jacobs Major Volume Mascara and then I switched to my Essence Lash Princess Mascara so I didn't reach for this. But once that Essence Lash Princess is done, I will definitely reach for this. I don't like to have more than one mascara open so that is the reason. But once I do, I will let you guys know my thoughts on that mascara. So let's get into this four play box for August. So the first thing we have here is the bag and it is Makeup Geek. Now, if y'all have not seen the drama with this four play box, I know Marlena from Makeup Geek was very upset because this is her brand, her trademark, and Sephora did not let her know they were using it. So. I don't know all the legalities of this bag, but I do know that is something that's going on right now in the beauty community. You also get the Sephora Play. Um, this is the booklet that shares all the products that you have, how to use them, tips and tricks like that. And then you have a 50 beauty and setter points that you can redeem in store. Now getting into the products, what I was really excited about about this box, because I have already looked at the Items is all of these items are cruelty free except for maybe one. That's the Living Proof a Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Now I'm not sure this is cruelty free. I actually don't think it is, but I really love this dry shampoo. I have used a deluxe sample of this before. really like this, so I'm extremely happy to have this this month in the box. Really, really happy. Then from a beauty blender, we get a little mini beauty blender guy. And this is perfect for, um, they say, highlight or doing concealer underneath your eyes, things like that. So I'm definitely going to play with this. Let you guys know, I have used beauty blenders before. I really like them. But I also like the Real Techniques beauty sponges as well. They do a great job. Then from Sol de Jan Janeiro, you have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I do have a like medium sized version of it that I am using so really happy about this the scent is great don't find it does any tightening or anything like that but it is a really good lotion fragrance this box is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner 
fragrance. I'm so happy about this. So these are her new fragrances that just came out. It's the Saint and Sinner. They're Sinner. They're Saint. Really happy about that to try those out. Then you get a Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream. I have used the shade Cool before. This is the shade Light Neutral. Definitely think this shade will match me better, so I'll give this one a go. See if maybe the color change is different and I like it better. And then the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. I have purchased the full size of this. It is a pretty good and cool product. You apply it on at the end of the night on your mascara or eyelashes with mascara on. Let it sit a little bit. You can brush your teeth, just sit around, watch TV, whatever. And then you wipe it off. And it does a fantastic job at getting the really stubborn waterproof mascaras off your lashes, so I'm happy to have this deluxe sample. So those are all the products that are in my Sephora Play Box and Petite Vore Box from August, and my reviews of the July products. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are interested in next month's um, new products and these kind of product updates. Give this video a big thumbs up, let me know that you're interested, and I will talk to you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!